Welcome back to the Tech Moto channel and part two of part six, part five, second part of making the hands. Um, so in the last episode, we were just making some fingers and we were 3D printing some uh, pieces for the palm. We've now got it together. So um, thanks to somebody on Thingiverse, we've got the fingers. The palm I've slightly adapted so that it fits in the palm of the um, armor. So the hand will fit beautifully inside there. So in theory, when it's all together, it will work nicely. Um, and then once you've got the armor together, let's get that the right way around, we can put together all the armor with the fingers like so. Okay, so the next thing to do is to run the strings through this. Um, so I've bought some um, tennis racket strings. Um, dead cheap, not really expensive ones, but thin enough to go through the holes in the hand. So in the hand, there are holes here in the end, and then uh, there are holes by the fingers, just by the fingers, and you can run the cables up the fingers to the end, and then there are two holes in the end that you tie a knot in. And then hopefully, all the strings will come out of the uh, wrist of the hand and you'll be able to pull them <laughs> and it will do that. Um, so that's going to take some time. Okay, so that's the uh, wrist mounted, the palm added on. We're just um, gonna have to sand the, the armor, the shielding for the fingers ever so slightly. And then we're gonna stick that to the fingers underneath. Pretty fiddly job, but it's gotta be done. So we've wired up one of the servos just to see if it works. Um, we have a servo board here. So by turning these dials, I can um, turn the servos. Um, so this dial here is connected to this wire. Um, brown and red wires are power, so plus a negative. The orange wire is the signal. So this wire comes down here and into this servo. I've just got my phone on there so you can see it. So the servo here um, has two of the tendons connected to it. So as this turns, it pulls that one tighter and releases this one. And then when it goes the other way, it releases this one and pulls that one tighter. Those cables go down through the arm down there into the hand. 
and then to the fingers. So one cable is on top of the finger, one cable is on the bottom of the finger. So if I turn this, it makes this move backwards and forwards. And then in turn, it makes this finger go backwards and forwards. So all the fingers now work, the thumb works, um, the mechanism in the back here um, has all the servos for the entire hand. Uh, I'm still going to do a little bit of work on the lights in the middle of the palm, uh, but that's dead easy. And then um, I can automate it and make the fingers all move as I, as I want them to. I think what I might do is change the cables from the, the tennis rackets to fishing line. Uh, because it'll it'll be smaller and it'll bend easier and it'll provide a better mechanism. Um, and there's a few other bits and pieces that I uh, that I might change um, as we go forwards. But I'm going to hone this one, and then we've got to make another one. Uh, but for this video, that's it. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one.